everybody. How you doing? Welcome back. Sorry I've been away for a while. It's the summer and I have multiple sclerosis and summer is just really hard on me. Uh, as a matter of fact, today I decided when I woke up, I finally felt good for the first time in about two weeks. And I went outside and to uh, put some garbage out and it felt kind of cool to me. So I said, let me go work in the yard because I love gardening. And I went outside and for half an hour, I pruned back my crepe myrtle, the, the shoots that come out at the bottom and, and a couple of shrubs. And then I was like, just like getting dizzy and starting to, my Utoff syndrome kicked in, which is <clears throat> something that happens with people with MS sometimes. And, um, uh, well, some of us, Anna, it happens with me. And <laughs> man, I barely made it inside, got some water, sat down, cooled off, was dripping. <laughs> and then it rained, but it was already 87 degrees outside and humid as all heck. And it was like 940 in the morning. Just too hot, too hot. And I ate and I cooled off and I feel better, but I still feel good today. So I feel like being creative and there's a project that I need to do because, uh, the Grand Isle project is coming along quite nicely. The motorhome should be coming soon. The, um, we actually went swimming in the pool the other day, Camille and I. So, um, my sister gave me this cause we had a pool here. And you can't hardly see it anymore, but it's a flamingo and it says, welcome to our pool. And it used to have blue on it and in the back it's quite dangerous because there's like nails sticking out and everything. Uh, there's a card on the back from who actually made it. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to repaint it uh, today paint over it in my own little style. I have, I treated myself to some abstract acrylic paints because when I'm doing painting for outside on wood like this, I don't wanna use my golden paints because they're too precious. And abstracts are kind of mid-grade kind of paints. They're really good. Uh, they're kind of artist grade, but not, super expensive so abstract and they come in this really cool little packet so you can get all the paint out and I have all kinds of different colors uh, lots of flamingo colors oh yeah and uh, of course you black and white different blues and green and of course my favorite orange and yellow and uh, so we're going to do that. And I did get one Dana, Dina Wakely. In my pronunciation, it's a vowel problem. Dina Wakely, Ranger Media, Media Heavy Body Acrylic Ocean, which I thought was apropos because we live near the ocean. The Gulf of Mexico is part of the Atlantic Ocean. Anyway, so now I'm going to start to paint and, uh, play music for you while I do that and hopefully not mess up my desk too much hmm here's the rusty nails it's a good thing I have my tetanus shot recently huh because <laughs> y'all know how I am well let me uh stop this for a second move the camera and then get painting hmm? yeah it'll be fun okay so here I am back again and I got my acrylic brushes right here and my water. I'm going to use my uh, Ranger thing for mixing my paints. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the background because then I can go over. Well, no, actually I'm going to do the black first, the, the lettering, because I know how I am. I'm a mess. I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a messy mess, mess, mess. See, look, I just opened this for the first time. Oh, 
Also got me some new Tim Holtz little snips, the, the seven inch size. I'm so excited about them. Cause they have that little serrated thing. Oh yeah. Like the little ones. Love them, love them. Gotta have two cause my daughter comes and sneaks them. See, cause I have two like this and God knows where. Oh, there's the other one. Yep, yep, you see? There you go. Uh, Who's doing this? Well, I finished my thing. I don't think I turned the, t the thing back on. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm so confused. <sighs> 
Okay, so I painted everything and I used a brighter pink than what I had before. Than, than what was on there before. This ocean turned out to be really perfect and I used this brush because evidently I don't think I had the thing recording <laughs> and did a lot of dry brushing kind of thing on it to get the blue to go on there and I added some extra green swirlies and I used my Posca paint marker to outline the little guy and do her eye and but I painted her legs with brushes and I really like these abstract paints I highly recommend them uh, I hope you like my project and if you like what you see give me a thumbs up come back and see me again and uh, I think my sister will be pleased. I'm going to bring it outside, spray it with some acrylic, and make sure that it lasts longer than it did the other time because it's gone out near the Gulf of Mexico and will be uh, bombarded with salt, water, air, and all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm going to put several coats of that uh, and if I need to repaint it, I'll repaint it. Hey, okay? it's just the way it goes. Gotta do something about these nails in the back. It's kind of dangerous. Huh. Isn't that crazy? Look at the can, 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 can Look, yeah, look. Can you see them sticking out? Isn't that... They, whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Story of my life. Hmm. I like her. She's beautiful. But I got more projects I want to do. I'll just show you in a little while. Anyway, be back. See you see you in the next video. Yeah.